What's up guys, Eric Vasquez here from teachmetodesign.com. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can quickly and easily add textures to your vectors in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to start off by creating a new document that's 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall and press enter. And from there, I'm just going to grab my text tool, type out some words, something like redemption or something cool and badass like that. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do now is change the font to something that I just downloaded called Black Sword. It's a really cool, nice looking script font. Uh, totally free on defont.com uh, so that you guys can follow along. Um, what I want to do from here is just add a background color. I'm just going to press M on the keyboard to get my rectangle tool, make it the same size as our document, and then just kind of move it to the back. And instead of black, let's make it like a dark blue color. All right? I'm going to select my text, press D on the keyboard, and that's going to make it white. But I'm going to press X to grab my stroke and then change it to none. All right, so now we've just got like a solid white fill on a dark blue background. Next, what I wanna do is select my type right here and I'm gonna come up to type create outlines and that's just going to convert um, my type into a shape. Now you'll see if I zoom in here, you can still see some of these points are like overlapping, um, but I wanna make this one solid shape. So a quick and easy way to do that is to select our Pathfinder, which we can get to by choosing by going to the Window menu and choosing Pathfinder. And then we're going to click on this first box here uh, to unite or merge the shapes. All right, and you'll see now everything is kind of one solid shape here. I'm going to grab my background, press Command-2 to lock it, and now I can just move this around as one whole shape here. All right, I'm going to modify it a little bit more. Let's go to Object Transform Shear check off preview and we're gonna do an angle of about negative 15 that's a little too much say negative 10 alright and I'm gonna change the axis to uh, vertical instead of horizontal and then hit OK and that's just gonna make our type a little bit more interesting going on this kind of upwards angle like that and what I'm gonna do now is actually open up my texture so I've got an EPS here that I just grabbed and I want to select everything in here. I think this is only, this should just be a solid black color. I'm going to test it out real quick. Select it, press copy, and paste it into our document. All right, what we have to do now, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, move my cursor over the top right corner, hold down shift, and then just rotate it so that I can rotate it uh, by increments of, you know, 45 degrees or so. Let's go a little bit more. And all I'm looking for is kind of, you know, seeing how the, the black is interacting with my, my text. All right, so I'm just kind of moving that around until I get something that looks pretty interesting like that. All right, so what I can do now is select my text as well as this black texture, and I'm going to come back to my Pathfinder and choose Merge. All right, and it's gonna take a few seconds um, but you just kind of let it run through and do its thing. And now what we're going to do is press A on the keyboard to get our direct selection tool and click on any of these tiny shapes that are filled with black. From there, come up to the Select menu and choose Same, Fill and Stroke. And then we're just going to cut it by pressing Command X on the keyboard. So by merging it, we've basically been able to knock this texture out of the uh, white text. So what's nice about that is let's say I had you know another color behind it here. All right, now it's not going to be blue. Now I can put this text on top of anything, and uh, it's just going to show whatever color is is behind it. All right, but you'll see here if I if I zoom out, I've got a lot of extraneous uh, points that I don't really need. So I'm just going to come in and kind of cut those out real quick, just to try and tidy things up a bit. Okay. And that part can be a little bit tedious, but um, you know it's a good way to kind of clean it up. So 
Um, that is a really quick and easy way to add some texture to your type in Adobe Illustrator. And uh, this works great for, you know, t-shirt graphics, it's especially if you're preparing something for print or to be, you know, sent off to a vendor. Uh, you want to make sure that everything is simple and clean uh, so that there's no room for errors. You know, this is also kind of a technique that I use a lot uh, when I put out, you know, my quote images and things like that on uh, social media for Teach Me to Design, um, which, you know, hopefully you guys have seen some of that stuff. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And be sure to sign up for our email list as well and be the first to know anytime some new content drops. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you next time.